Okay, so whoop, I shook the table. As I was saying, there's sort of a recipe to doing your swag for your door. Um, the first step is to get a swag, which is your background. And what I like to do is get two for cheap and tie them together. And then you pay basically half the price of a regular swag. Okay, so I went to Hobby Lobby and picked up all the stuff I need for my swag. Now I know that you guys have gone to craft fairs and you've seen swags and wreaths for sale and they're really expensive. And you're like, wow, that's so expensive. I can make it for cheaper. You literally can't. <laughs> Unless you have a wholesaler's license. I mean, they're really just barely making, well, some of them. I'm not going to say they're not making any money, but I'm going to say that they're not making a ton of money off of each wreath or um, swag. So support your local artisans. If you see one that you love, go ahead and buy it. You're not going to save much money um, doing it yourself. But, like my husband says, then you miss all the fun of making it yourself, which is the part that I like. So anyway, let me show you uh, what I ended up with. Because I know while I was in Hobby Lobby, you saw me pick up a bunch of things. And um, I got a couple of extra things that I don't need for my swag. But it's only like three items. So one of the things I picked up because it was on sale were these beads. And you know I use these a lot for crafting. And I always uh, do stuff with them. I wonder if I'm in focus. I hope I'm in focus. Anyway. Um, another thing that I picked up that I didn't need for my was some ribbon because it was on sale. So let me move all that to this to the side. I'll probably end up using that at Christmas time, but I'm not going to use that for my fall swag. So the main thing that you need for your swag, you're going to need ribbon. I got these two wire ribbons. They're both 18 feet. I got two just to make sure that I had enough. I think I only need one, but I can, again, use this later if I need to. And then I got this one, which is 18 feet, and it's also a wire ribbon. I like the wire ribbon because it holds the form of the bow when you make it, and you're going to pre-make your bow before you, you uh, start putting everything together on your swag. So you, it'll be a bow at the top and then you're gonna need extra ribbon to kind of go on the sides, but I'll teach you how to do that too. So that's your ribbon. Then from there, you need your staple pieces, which I would say you need three at a minimum. And here's what I chose to be my three staple pieces. You can find it. this one. I chose these three items. This, this, and this. So this kind of dictates what the color scheme of my fall swag is going to be. And you want to pick these out before you get your ribbon. Because duh, if you don't have this in mind, you're not going to know what kind of ribbon or bow that you want to make. So once you have your three pieces, you know what I did? I just found a spot in the store and laid it all out. Oh, side note. See, this is a little decoration that sits up. I'm just going to rip this off. This stuff is so cheap, I just rip it off. And then you can use a metal punch and make holes here or a drill bit, make holes, and then tie it on with some wire. But anyway, that's part of the swag. I'm going to stick that there. The other piece. Go big, medium, small at the bottom. I'll have to lay it down. So you're not going to get the full effect, but I'm going to lay it out as I would in my swag so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And then the next piece that you need is you want to go to the floral department and find a good chunky piece for your bottom. Because this is going to lay kind of like this down at the bottom. Again, using the color scheme that you went with with your, your small, medium, and large piece, find you a big uh, piece of sprig to go down at the bottom. Once I found this, I knew I had to incorporate cotton throughout the project because otherwise it would just have it on the bottom and it wouldn't make sense, right? So I had to pick up a, a thing of cotton. So I'm going to rip this off, and I'm going to have three 
strands of cotton to use throughout the piece, which I can't really tuck in right now because I'm not cutting it off right now. I'm just laying it out so you guys can kind of see the idea behind it. All right, then I got filler. I saw these little pumpkins and thought these went well with my theme. Kind of pulling in a more rustic approach. So just kind of stick those in wherever. And then I got three of those. And then got three of these. You don't want anything to be symmetrical. You want to kind of do it in a three three theme pattern. Three theme pattern, does that even make sense? These are filler. I did end up picking up four of these just because I felt like I needed one extra just in case. I don't even know if I'm gonna need all four, but I have four of those. Here's a couple more fillers I got. Three of these, because I wanted to incorporate a bit of color, which I chose to go with maroon. I like the maroons and the greens together, so that's why I did that. So you're gonna kinda lay that in wherever. You have to kind of use your imagination here. This is not what it's going to look like once it's all on the greenery and kind of tied in. But this will give you a general idea of what your piece will look like. And even in the store, if you find a quiet spot just to go and lay everything out on the floor and take a picture of it and look at it with your phone, for one thing, you'll find out if anything you're buying is damaged or broken which I ended up having to return something uh, into the aisle and go get it again. But um, you'll also find out whether or not everything is kind of copacetic and working with the theme. All right, again, going with threes, some more filler. You can kind of see what this is gonna look like. Oh gosh, I didn't even tell you guys about this too. So this counts as one of the big items. So I have the big green piece and this. So if you are uh, filling up to it to put another big piece in, you can certainly do it. If there is no hard set fast rule. You just uh, kind of know the recipe and then kind of do what it, is, what it is that you want because it's yours and you can create it any kind of way you want. So I got this. I think it's whimsical. You know I like whimsy. I had to add that in there. So I'm gonna put him in there and then take these pumpkins and I'm gonna kinda, obviously these pumpkin, those pumpkins don't have picks. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to pick them and stick them in. I don't have a pick machine. Maybe if I did this more often, I would get a pick machine, but there's no need for it right now. Let's kinda fill these in. And then you use this for filler. And of course I'll have my cotton for later. And there's gonna be a big bow right here so you don't really have to worry about the top too much. Just kind of stick all those in. Make it bigger, fuller, funner. That's it, I think that was all four of them. And then I picked up some little corns. And I think these will be really cute. I'm just going to squirt some hot glue on them and just kind of stick them in because it goes with my Thanksgiving theme. I may end up bringing this to my mom for Thanksgiving and giving it to her because she hosts Thanksgiving dinner. And uh, it'd be really pretty on her door uh, when guests come in. But um, I might keep it. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm just going to hot glue these right into the greenery as, it's, as I'm doing it. So... That's it, that's the recipe. So once you have that kind of general idea of where to take it, this is what you'll end up with, but backed onto a green background. Let me show you. So wait, let me go sideways. Kind of sideways so you can see. So all of that is gonna be on a swag. For your door and you can kind of see how that's all gonna look and come together okay the last little tidbit that I'm gonna give you 
is when you pick up stuff like this and it's got this, you know, it's actually a picture that stands up. You're gonna take a piece of pipe cleaner and just staple gun that. And then you can use the pipe cleaner to stick it into your wreath. So nothing's off limits, you know? Do your damage at Hobby Lobby. They love it and I love it. I love shopping at Hobby Lobby. Anywho, that's it you guys. Hope this helps. Y'all have a fun one. Bye.